Hi, I'm Sarah from the Rum River Library, and welcome to today's edition of What's Your Readin'? Special guest, Aria. Uh, to, so today our topic is a little bit heavy. Um, May 4th, 2020 was the 50th anniversary of the Kent State Massacre which you may have also heard as the Kent State shootings or the May 4th shootings. Um, and this was where four Kent State University students were killed and nine were injured on May 4th, 1970, when members of the Ohio National Guard opened fire on a crowd gathered to protest the Vietnam War. This tragedy was a watershed moment for a nation divided by the conflict in Southeast Asia. In its immediate aftermath, a student-led strike forced the temporary closures of colleges and universities across the nation. Some political observers believe that the events of this day uh, in Northeast Ohio tilted public opinion against the war and may have contributed to the downfall of President Nixon. So today, here are some nonfiction reads about other times people stood up for their rights and their beliefs. My first recommendation today is called The Port Chicago 50, Disaster, Mutiny, and the Fight for Civil Rights by Steve Scheinkin. I know I've recommended a lot of World War II books uh, lately, <laughs> but you've probably never heard of this particular aspect of it. So on July 17, 1944, a massive explosion rocked the segregated Navy base at Port Chicago, California, killing more than 300 sailors who were at the docks, critically injuring off-duty men in their bunks and shattering windows up to a mile away. On August 9, 244 men refused to go back to work until um, unsafe and unfair conditions at the docks were addressed. When the dust settled, 50 of those men were charged with mutiny, facing decades in jail and even execution. Scheinkin masterfully weaves interviews, court records, and other primary sources with his driving narrative to tell the complex and little-known history of the Port Chicago disaster of 1944. Uh, I love every book I've read by Steve Scheinkin. Um, this one was great, uh, even though, spoiler alert, it did make me mad um, in that many of, well, all of these men died with this record of mutiny on, on their records. So, uh, but it's a great read. It's a great uh, way to shine light on a little known subject. And it would make such a good movie. Um, my second recommendation today is Ida M. Tarbell, The Woman Who Challenged Big Business and Won, written by Emily Arnold McCulley. Born before the Civil War and living in what was truly a man's world, Ida Tarbell was one of the first practitioners of what we now call investigative journalism. Although she's not well known today, she made a name for herself in her own time by taking on the exploitative practices of John D. Rockefeller and the Standard Oil Company. Uh, this biography that also serves as a social history of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, um, McCulley presents a readable and captivating account of this unusual woman showing the reader her inconsistencies and faults, as well as the grit, determination, and intellect that allowed Tarbell to support herself and her family with her writing, which was unheard of at the time. My third recommendation today is called I Am Malala, How One Girl Stood Up for Education and Changed the World by Malala Yousafzai. Malala shows us what young people are capable of. Having done such a good job championing 
education for girls in Pakistan, the Taliban decided that she had become a big problem. On her way to school one day, they shot her in the head. Malala was just 15 years old. But then something truly amazing happened. She survived. And she continues her fight to this day. This is more than a simple memoir. Malala doesn't just talk about herself, her past, her present, what she hopes for in her future. She talks about what is around her, the world that surrounds her, and she points out what is right, what is wrong, especially in regards to women's rights. Now, today I have some extra recommendations. If you are wanting to read up on more information on the Vietnam War, uh, my first recommendation would be Boots on the Ground, America's War in Vietnam by Elizabeth Partridge. Most Dangerous, Daniel Eis Most Dangerous, Daniel Ellsberg and the Secret History of the Vietnam War. Written by Steve Scheinkin. I know, I've listed him twice on this list, but the man writes so well. And Daniel Ellsberg's story is almost incomprehensible. If you saw this in a movie, you'd say, that's there's no way that happened. Third, Kent State by Deborah Wiles. And this book talks specifically about Kent State and its aftermath, how it came to be. Uh, these, all of these books that I've recommended today are available as ebooks through the Cloud Library. And then I have an extra, extra bonus recommendation uh, today. Go check out our database, Canopy. Um, and on there, there's a PBS documentary titled The Day of the Day the 60s Died, The Political Context of the Kent State Shooting. Uh, to find it, you can search Kent State and it'll be the first result. Or I've put a direct link um, down below in the event description. Uh, to access Canopy, all you need is your library card. And you can access this. Uh, documentary or many, many other things on Canopy, which is a movie streaming site, uh, all kind, kind of like Netflix. As always, you can share your thoughts on this subject or share recommendations you have with us on Facebook, Twitter, or Goodreads. Uh, please use the hashtag ACL at home so that we see and can respond back. Happy reading and I'll see you next time.